Hi, and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio, and in this uh, video, we are going to continue with our Spider Oak video series, and we'll review the syncing and sharing functionality that Spider Oak offers us. And on the left side, I have my virtual Windows 7 machine, and I'm just going to show you quickly that I'm working on a Windows machine here showing you the uh, start menu. And on the uh, right side, I am um, on my Mac. I opened uh, Firefox and opened the Spider Oak website. And um, now we only have to um, download the Mac client to add another machine to our backups and therefore to enable the syncing functionality that Spider Oak offers us. So I've already downloaded the client and you have to drag the Spider Oak uh, symbol into your applications folder. Sorry for everything being in German, but I'm working on a German system right now. And the installation process is pretty easy here and works basically the same way as it does on the Windows machine. So we want to add an existing user. So we add our credentials, we add our username and password, and we could set up a proxy, but not this time. And uh, for as a security measure, we have to uh, insert a captcha. And this is what I particularly like on on Spider Oak. They are really secure. They they have thought about basically everything that is needed to really secure your data and secure your backups. So um, now we want to add an another device to our backups. And here we see already that we have the virtual machine, the virtual Windows machine that we have on the left um, showing in the client. And now I'm just going to add my iMac to the system and naming an iMac to be able to identify it accordingly. And congratulations, we have added the iMac. And potentially, we can now start and back up our files. And um, now let's see how fast our iMac appears on the left side, on our Windows machine. And there you go, it already appeared. And we are potentially ready to back up and to sync our data. So the next step would be selecting two folders that we want to keep in sync, that we want to monitor for changes and that we need to be in sync because we're going to be moving from one place to another. But before we're going to do that, we have to prepare a folder for backup that Spider Oak um, is able to scan the file system and that we are now going to be able to choose a folder from that. So um, we're going to choose uh, files that I uh, had on the desktop prepared before so I'm just going to select the um, the desktop here and it still shows 800 megabyte in size but I deleted some files so that we don't have to wait that long at the bottom of the screen you see that it's only 35 megabytes and that's why I'm going to select that folder and I want SugarSync to scan this particular folder and back that up so we're going to pause the video here quickly and going to resume when this is done so the initial backup is actually uh, ready and now we are going to be able to uh, see that here I have prepared a, a spider oak syncing folder and we're going to use that to keep our files in sync. So we're just going to have that in mind when we select our folders. And um, to sync the folders we need to change into the uh, syncing tab on the top right and create a new sync. So we're going to name that test sync and you could add a description. So if you have multiple syncs and multiple folders uh, to be synced, it really can help you to add a description. So we're just going to uh, enter something here and I'm going to indicate that I'm going to uh, sync my VM and my Mac. And here we have the option to sync two or even more folders. So I could select five, four, or six folders to be in sync and they're always going to have the same and the, the, the current files that I'm working on. So this is pretty useful. And we're going to select the Spider Oak sync folder as the first folder and the second folder is going to be our test file folder with one gigabyte in files. However, um, we're not going to uh, sync the whole folder. We are going to exclude files that we don't want to back up. So imagine you just want the uh, Word documents to be in sync. So you could exclude all the files that you made a backup of, for example, movie files or audio files, and only have the 
um, word files in sync. I, for example, now want to exclude all the audio, the WAV files I have here and only want to sync the video files I have in those folders. This is going to reduce the file size to, well, roughly 300 gigabyte, 300 megabyte, I'm sorry. And here we have a nice little summary again, which files, which folders are going to be in sync. And in the next step, Spider Oak prepares our sync. And now it basically has to um, send the files to their servers because unfortunately, Spider Oak does not support a LAN sync. If it supported LAN sync, it would sync the files in my local area network. But because it doesn't support that for security reasons, they have to send the files to the servers and then back to the to the syncing uh, folders. And this is obviously going to take a while. And um, we're going to pause the video here and see whether everything works flawlessly. OK, so the sync is complete and we're going to change to the desktop. And here we have all our files well in sync and we excluded the WAV files, remember? And here we have the MP4, the movie files that I want to keep in sync because I'm working on them frequently or whatever. And all the other files are um, all in sync except the WAV files. So that worked pretty well and also pretty fast. I'm really happy with the syncing functionality because this is something I'm going to be using a lot. But now let's have a look at another interesting feature that is the share functionality. So you are going to be able to create so-called shared rooms. And in those shared rooms, you're going to be able to share um, the data you want with your colleagues, with your mom, with your client, and you can add as many shared rooms as you want and add as many files as you want. So we're going to create one here and we're just going to uh, call that vacation 2011 and we're going to enter a password. This is very important that nobody else can access your folder that you don't want uh, to share with. And you can also add a description. So if you have multiple uh, folders, I really can recommend adding a few words here that helps you identify your share and um, and keep track of uh, of some changes later. And obviously, in the next step, we got to uh, select the folder we want to share. And again, we're going to record to our desktop folder here. So on our iMac, I prepared a folder and there are some uh, images in. And uh, so we are just going to select this temp folder. And this folder is going to be changed. It's going to be shared. And here are the details again to be reviewed by you. And you can make any changes if you want to. And now the yellow button indicates that Spider Oak prepares or is preparing at the moment your uh, share. And when this flashes green, you're actually going to be ready to send this file to your client, to your mom, to your grandma, whatever. And she or he is going to be able to uh, download the files you have stuffed into the shared folder. And um, when you click on a share, you're going to find on the left side the link that you have to send your partner to. And on the right side of my screen, the browser, you can view the folder. And um, the person now can enter the folder directly and download individual files so they don't need to download the whole folder or they can even browse um, the photos right in uh, the, the browser or download them individually. But also, obviously, they can um, download the whole file as a zip file and then view the photos of the files that you have sent. So in this video, we have had a look at Spider Oak syncing and sharing functionality. And we've seen that Spider Oak is a very secure provider. It is working with captchas. It is working with special security enhancement to keep your file safe. And in that regard, it differentiates itself from Dropbox because Dropbox does not have that security feature and is a major critique on that service. So I think Spider Oak stands really out here. Unfortunately, it's not that well known, but um, I hope you can make yourself an idea of how that service works and if Spider Oak might be something for you. I will definitely consider that as a alternative to Dropbox. So in the next video, we are going to see how to uh, restore files that you have backed up uh, with uh, Spider Oak and see whether that works flawlessly and whether that is as fast as the backup itself. As always, if you like the video, please give it your like on YouTube or recommend it to your friends and family on Facebook. And if you have a question, I'll be more than glad to get back to you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.